Hey, girlies. Today we follow Simon, a bodybuilder tricked into becoming a woman. Can he navigate womanhood? In Jue, Simon had been obsessed with bodybuilding since his early twenties. Growing up in a Midwest high school, he had always been the scrawny kid. He was never able to put up a lot of weight. After starting weightlifting in college, he had become bigger and bigger. However, it wasn't enough for him. The pump was always out there, as Arnold said, and Simon had to chase it. For the past six years, Simon's life had revolved around the gym. He prepped all of his meals ahead of time, and every meal was portioned and every calorie was accounted for. He had started using additional supplements for vitamins and protein, as well as pre- and post-workout shakes. By every metric, he was muscular and had a well-endowed physique. However, none of this was enough for Simon. Soon enough, he started looking for more than supplements. He started to look into altering his hormones to allow his body to put up more and more muscle. At first, it started simple enough with testosterone boosters. He had acquired them from a trusty friend at his favourite gym. The guy was using the product himself. How bad could it be? This had given Simon an additional boost, and he had grown bigger and more vascular. He had broken his previous personal bests in bench and deadlift. However, these new supplements had major side effects. For one, his big muscles were hard for his heart to feed. Thus, Simon always felt out of breath, and even climbing a couple of stairs made him feel lightheaded. More importantly, despite getting closer to the ideal male physique, his relationship with his girlfriend was getting strained. The excess testosterone he was taking had fried his natural production of the hormone. In other words, as his muscles grew larger, his manly bits shrunk. He was no longer able to perform in bed, and his girlfriend was not satisfied. She had serious conversations with Simon even before he had started taking these hormonal supplements, and she wanted Simon to address the underlying issues of why he didn't feel adequate, despite his already amazing physique. No matter how much she pressured him, she could never get through to him, and he kept taking the hormonal supplements. Soon enough, these supplements were no longer enough. His growth had plateaued, and despite the already severe side effects he was experiencing, he was still looking for more. He had let his gym buddy know that he wanted the more serious stuff now. His girlfriend Sarah was not impressed when she heard about this, so she came up with a plan with Simon's gym buddy to give him a different supplement. Sarah knew that Simon's obsession was not healthy and would end badly sooner or later, so she ordered a regimen of HRT over the internet to replace Simon's supplements. Simon's gym buddy started supplying the HRT instead of Simon's regular regimen and told him that this was the stronger stuff. Over the next couple of months, Simon started experiencing peculiar changes. He was training harder and harder, but it felt like his muscles were shrinking. His chest had become more sensitive and his areolas had grown larger. His once vascular skin had become smoother and smoother. One day, as he looked at himself in the mirror in the gym, he suddenly noticed how much smaller he had gotten. He wasn't only smaller, he was feminine. The realisation had driven him to tears. He felt so embarrassed that he locked himself into a changing cubicle and didn't leave until the tears stopped. He could not make sense of anything. He hasn't cried once since he was a teenager. Had the supplements finally broken his body? When he got home, Sarah noticed something was off. She asked, Hey babe, what's wrong? You're looking kind of sad right now, she said emphatically. I think you were right, replied Simon. I think I broke my body with all the supplements. I lost a lot of weight and I have been crying all day. Oh, honey, I am so sorry to hear that she replied and moved to hug him. As she hugged her, Simon's growing chest poked at her. The unusual feeling of their soft and budding chests touching each other made Simon take a step back. Sarah couldn't help but be amazed at how effective her hormones were on Simon's body. He had only been taking those for over a month, and had already started growing breasts. She moved closer to Simon to feel his growing chest again. Simon did not know how to feel. He actually kind of enjoyed how sensitive they felt. 
he could feel himself feeling frisky and even more attracted to Sarah than usual. It was all too much for Simon to take in. Sarah slowly pushed him to the couch, and they made out for an hour. Simon had not felt this good in a long time. Despite not doing it officially, he felt a surge of pleasure jolt through his body. As they laid on the couch, Sarah whispered into Simon's ear, Honey, I am so sorry for scaring you, but you were destroying yourself chasing unrealistic dreams. Simon was shocked to hear this. Wait, he replied, you knew about this? Yes, replied Sarah in a soft, seductive tone. I knew you were looking for even more dangerous supplements, so I worked with your gym friend to put you on HRT. Simon didn't know how to respond. He could only muster a how could you before he was cut off again. Don't look at me like that, babe, replied Sarah. You know all that junk you have been using is way more dangerous than HRT. Also, I have been thinking for a long time trying to figure out why you were so obsessed with your body image. It was a dead end for a long time, but then I found your high school diary out of nowhere. It turns out you have been overcompensating for all those girly feelings you felt all those years ago. Denying your true self is not good for you. I'm just helping you find her under all of that muscle. Simon stood there silently listening to her words. He should have been angry, but somehow he wasn't. Remembering his high school years and the feeling of all those years of hard work going to waste was too much for him to process. His eyes started to well up. Oh, baby, it's okay to cry. I know you aren't used to it, but it's totally normal for a girl to cry her emotions out. I also bought you some girls' clothes so that you can fully experience living as a woman. We can try them tomorrow. By the end of the night, Simon was too tired to even move from the living room. He didn't bother going to their bedroom. In the morning, he woke up to the delicious smell of Sarah preparing breakfast. Good morning, gorgeous, Sarah exclaimed. You are looking extra pretty this morning. Simon walked to the bathroom to wash his face. His face looked even more feminine than he remembered. His jawline had become softer, and his hair was thinner and longer. After they ate breakfast, Sarah directed Simon to their bedroom. She had laid out an assortment of women's clothing on the bed. She had a selection of bras and matching panties, as well as tight jeans, skirts, crop tees and dresses. You will need to relearn how to style yourself in your new feminine form, Sarah explained. Also, I think I'll have to call you Simone now. Simon really doesn't fit such a pretty face, if that's okay with you, obviously. It was weird that she was asking for permission now to change his name. She had not done so to replace his supplements. She liked asking for forgiveness more than asking for permission, I guess. Simon nodded slowly in approval. Simone was nice. It wasn't too far off her old name, and she would get used to it quickly. Simone reached for the pink matching underwear. Sarah had picked a classy push-up bra that enhanced Simone's assets even further. Sarah didn't want Simone to hide anything. She wanted to squash any bit of masculinity that was still left in Simone. After putting the underwear on, Simone looked in the mirror and appreciated herself. She fully looked like a woman. Even her bits down below were too small to be visible from her panties. After this, Simone tried on the tight skinny jeans and the crop tee. This was a combo that showed her newly widened hips as well as her midriff. Looking at her midriff had brought back old memories of having a six-pack. This time she caught herself before tears flooded her eyes. She then turned her attention towards the dresses. There was a beautiful floral knee-length dress. It fit her perfectly and made Simone feel so feminine. As she was appreciating herself in the mirror, she noticed Sarah was also appreciating her. Now that I am a girl, are you going to leave me? Simone asked suddenly, her eyes tearing up again. Oh, honey, you know I am a bee, Sarah replied emphatically. If you still want me after becoming a girl, I would love to keep our relationship, she continued. But you know I can't satisfy you, Simone replied. Honey, you haven't been able to do that for a while now. But as we demonstrated yesterday, there are other ways to make up for it. Please stop crying, it's a beautiful day outside. Let's go to the park, Sarah exclaimed. 
She was right, Simone thought. It was a beautiful day outside. More importantly, it was a beautiful day to be a girl. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to follow us on other social media. Enjoy your girly day.